Bye, 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 bye. Buy me precious. Stop. You have to stop. Bushcraft knives don't matter. You have to stop obsessing over knives. And I'm totally guilty of this too. Look at the lineup here. I have the same problems that you do. A lot of us will spend hours sitting there scrolling through the various different knife websites looking at trying to find the best bushcraft knife. You see, the reality is there is no perfect bushcraft knife. You will not find it. Also, spending $300, $500, $700 on a bushcraft knife will not make you good at bushcraft. The truth is, it doesn't matter what knife you have. If you suck, you suck. Bushcraft and survival is more about skill than it is about the knife that you have. Yes, I understand that variety of different knives at different legs with different steels will provide you a different experience in the woods and will be capable of doing different things. You know, a big knife like this is gonna be able to chop a lot better than the small knife at the bottom of the line. If you haven't developed the skills, it doesn't matter what knife you have, you're gonna suck. And the only way to get better is to put time into actually doing the thing that you want to do versus looking up different knives and different ways to blow your money on stuff that isn't really gonna impact your game, so to speak. What really matters is knowing how to use them. Not looking cool, not having super steels, not having micarta or plastic handles, even though I did demonize the Mora Garberg in a previous video. It really is what you can do with the knife that actually matters, not the knife itself. And I'm all for having variety and having fun, and I do recommend that if you have money, you know, buy a few different style of knives, a few different sizes, and kind of see what you like before just, you know, going all out on the same size knives pretty much because in the end, like some of them, yeah, they have different grinds and different steels and different looks, but they do basically the same thing. And for me, I literally have decision fatigue every time I go out into the woods because I have too many knives to choose from. And I feel like I'm missing out if I don't bring one of them along. So it becomes harder and harder to choose the more and more knives you have. Uh, when you actually go into the woods, it's like, which knife am I gonna use? And then eventually, you just find one that you like the best. And all the, you have all these other ones that just sit on the shelf for years and years and barely get touched. The whole point of this video is really to put the focus on learning the actual skills of bushcraft and of survival instead of getting too caught up with the materialistic bushcraft push that's on YouTube and online and other places. It's what you do with those knives that really matter, not the knife itself. And I know that it's cool to have a cool looking knife and you can show it off to your friends and all that other stuff. And I'm not devaluing that. I'm also not devaluing people who like to collect knives. That's a whole different matter. It's totally cool if you have the budget and you want to go and collect knives. That's a totally fine hobby to have. But I think there's quite a few of us out there that just kind of get a bit too obsessed and we're not really providing value to our actual skill set and we're just getting caught up in kind of that dopamine rush of scrolling through hundreds of knives and oh maybe this one will be good maybe that one will be good and in the reality they all are pretty similar you know for instance i could have literally just kept on using the old condor bush lore and i would have been totally fine i did my first survival video with this particular knife and it is still totally capable of doing the same stuff i did in that video and getting any of these other knives that i got after the fact hasn't really made much of a difference. I could have literally just kept using this knife for years and I would have accomplished pretty much the same stuff. I didn't really change the game too much by getting a bunch of knives that are pretty much similar to this one. You know, yeah, it's like 1075 and it's not stainless steel and I've said that, you know, I'd rather have stainless steel and all that other stuff, but like those are really minor differences in the big grand scheme of going out and doing an overnight. It's totally fine to have a knife that gets rusty and scratched and abused because that is what you do when you go into the woods. You don't buy knives to look pretty and to do nothing with them and be afraid to use them and the more expensive the knife you have, the more of a fear that you're gonna break it or you know scratch it, you know ruin the beautiful you know G10 micarta or and all that other stuff. So maybe you don't need to go out and buy that new knife that you've been eyeing for oh so long online, and then instead pull out that old condor bush lore 
that can do basically everything that you need to for bushcraft, especially if you got an axe and got a saw and all that other stuff. Slot this in here, put in the old Mora 511, and you're good to go. All for probably under a hundred dollars. And I'm not out here to try to bash you and make you feel guilty that you spent all your money on bushcraft knives and have no money to buy food anymore. You should probably buy food. But I'm just pointing something out that when it comes down to it, the knives don't matter that much. It's more how you use them. So variety is good to some extent, but you might you might only need, you know, a few variations. Maybe just get one fairly big knife so you can kind of understand how a big knife performs. Get one fairly small knife just so you can throw it in the bag and see how that performs. But most of the time you're just going to be using your four or five inch standard bushcraft knife for most tasks and you won't have to go out and find the perfect thing because you know there's a lot of these ones running around 50 to 100 dollars that you can easily find and lots of other videos recommend in the comments below please recommend your number one knife that you would recommend to other people starting out bushcraft you know put it in a reasonable range you know between 50 to 150 or something like that so please, unless you are a collector, don't spend all your money on bushcraft knives. They really don't matter in the end. It's how you use them. It's your skill. It's what you do. That matters and that counts. Not how it looks, not what steel it is, not what handle material. And I'm calling myself out on that one. So next time when you pull out your phone and you want to start scrolling and looking at those knives, maybe you should get in the garage and start practicing some skills or get in the backyard or pop out to your local forest and actually start using them because that is what is really going to determine whether you're actually going to get better at bushcraft or not, not what knife you have. I hope you like this video so give it a thumbs up and I'll see you on the next one.